All right, how's it going, guys? And we are back with more WWE 2K22, my rise. And yeah, guys, in the last video, on his farewell match, we beat the Paragon J. Pierce in Japan. We fought Brett the Hitman Hart. He kept kicking out of my finisher and reversing, but we managed to beat him. Then, on top of that, we had to beat Steve Austin and The Rock in a handicap match. We managed to do that. And then the return, the return of Cole Quinn. Who had a great match, he actually nearly beat me. I'm still undefeated so far in my rise, but he nearly beat me, but I managed to get that done. And now I think the GMs are coming to watch the Performance Center showcase, so that'll be good. Loving this game, guys, honestly. But I think I'm ready to leave the Performance Center and either go to NXT, SmackDown, or Raw. It's got to be, I'm unsure who I would pick. And if I lean towards it, I'd probably go to NXT, just to build it up even more. But love you all, guys. Let's do it. Okay guys, actually before I jump in on that, I've got to go to the location. Let's see what's happening in the training ring before we actually end it, because there could be more stories to go to. Okay guys, before we go into the Performance Center Showcase, um, I've just got a couple more stories left if you go to the story progress. I've got the early bird gets the hardcore match and the Lucha Libre is there. I knew that, but there was nothing really here. You chased in Hector Forest still. That may be the last two story missions before the main one, so let's, let's do this. Let's go to Chase. I was watching some older stuff on the network the other day. And it got me thinking how cool it would be to have a hardcore match. But it's pointless since the coaches would never let us do it. Well, what if, and, and hear me out on this, we did it super early in the morning before anyone got here. How would we even get in the building? I'm boys with Todd, the security guard. He gave me my own key. <laughs> that guy really is bad at his job. We'd come in here bright and early, have our hardcore match, clean up all the plunder, and no one finds out. Trust me, it'll be fine. Last time you said it will be fine. It was an indie show, and we got fucking. We had to run around the laps of, We had to run around the building for three years. Then we had to fight the Viking Raiders. Still managed to win, but it was a bad idea. My gut's telling me this could be a disaster, but for some reason, I still want to do it. You got yourself a hardcore match. I'm guessing with that, yeah, I'm guessing that's what you mean with the early bird gets the hard call match and bright and early. <laughs> Snuck in but brung the ref. So <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do, I was trying to leave the ring. Bleeding already? He is not staying down at all. Oh my god, she stayed the fuck down. Took a table. Why did I take a table? Yeah. Tables could be fun. Okay, I want to get hardcore. Oh my god, please get out the ring! Finally, okay. I seem to hold that a bit more. Oh, why did it disappear? That's quite shitty.
Oh! Shit, he's got this edge hammer. Where are you doing, man? That's pretty good. Oh, that was perfect. I'm trying to come into the ladder. The ladder? The chair? <laughs> come on, Chase. See, how the hell? It's, like, it's amazing how they hosted WrestleMania in the performance center. Yeah. That's a feat itself, man. It's not the biggest place. Hardcore matches are really fun. Oh, he's fucking killed it! Another steel Mago Jr. Blackout and then stole the victory. Can I do it again? One, two, three. He has! Oh, shit. Uh, guys, what the heck? Uh, it was like this when we came in. Clean it up now, and then come find me. We're gonna have a little talk. I knew it was never gonna end well. That was fun. So, give it to me straight. Who do I blame for what went down out there? I like Chase. I don't want him to get in trouble. Oh, he wants to have Tom here with me, but I'm going to see if it was my idea. It was all my idea. So whatever punishment you want to hand out should fall on me. That's not true. It was my idea. It was actually a tribute to your reign as hardcore champion in 1998. Don't be a suck up. <laughs> all right, here's the deal. Since you're both taking the blame, you both get the punishment. A WWE tag team just happens to be stopping by later today, and they like to get hardcore too. Didn't you vacate the hardcore title? So technically, you're still champ in my book. That's a good point. Y you know what? That's not important right now. <laughs> later today, you two are going to face the Usos in a hardcore match. Have fun. Fuck. This might be where I get my first loss, guys. Sorry, Chase, for getting your way though. This was a great tag team, man. Sorry guys, I'm just concentrating, so I hope Chase is there as I'm ammo. 
kicked it. Oh, my fat moved it out. Oh, that's broke space fight. Oh, he fucking countered it. Not like this, because Chase is doing his well now. This has got to finish it as well. That was sex, that's what they did that again. Why is it all coming to the ring? Perfect diamond right in between them and missing them both. Nagi. Oh, that was so close. Man, she should have hit him, man. She's coming into the ring, man. Why is Chase letting me fight these two guys myself? Finally.
Yeah, I up. Yeah, I'm not doing this. I can I can use this win this. Chase, please kick it. I don't think he's gone. Eh? Damn it, guys, my first loss. I kind of knew it, man, because we were tired and these was are good. Fuck, man. We will continue. Actually, technically, guys, yes, I was on the loose team, but I have not been pinned or submitted. I'm sticking to that. I haven't been pinned or submitted. It was Chase that got pinned. I don't know. Fuck, <laughs> I don't know that springboard there. But hey ho. I think I have to set up the last story, but we've still got to uh, talk to Hector. He was in there. I haven't checked in with you for a bit. Are you holding up? I think I'm doing all right. I mean, I wouldn't be here still if I wasn't, right? True. There's not a lot of patience for mediocrity around here. Reminds me of something my old man used to say. Good enough is only good enough if you're good enough. He really had a way with words. <laughs> I think what he meant was you can coast by if you have the talent, but if not, you better work twice as hard to make up for it. Makes sense, I guess. Does he offer you gems like that all the time? Not anymore. We haven't really talked in a while. Yeah, anyway, speaking of working twice as hard, in Mexico, two out of three false matches are very popular. I was thinking it would be cool if you and I had one here at the PC. What do you think? Damn straight, let's do it. I'd be honored. Let's do it. We shall we be stable, that's what that was. Attempt to defeat Hector Flores in three falls. Yeah, I like that. If you lose, you just continue the story. It's not a big deal. I've only lost once, and I was not even pinned. It wasn't even me go pinned. It was Chase. What a kick to the face! BME, best moon so ever. Top Robin so. Why you? The hell was that? I've not hot this now, were you actually, guys? Because I've just been doing the Yunagi. Spear! One, two. two. Oh, he kicked it. That was a fucking fail. So much hype, but nothing. One, two. 
Put an Aggie. No, I didn't want. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? Don't go up there. That's what I was trying to hit. Oh, you fucking killed that. I was trying to hit the car. You fucking. That, hang, that rope fucking fucked me now. Ah, oh, shit, I just beat me to it. So unnecessary. One, two. Oh, I thought I hit that now. Did you see it slamming down for free and he just got to it. There we go, the car! Ball game. You're in the ropes. Are you actually having me on, man? Damn it, I missed. One, two. Oh! Surely that's it. One, two. Oh my god, it's getting closer and closer. He's still getting it before three. Shame, I missed it. Shit, that was his signature. Has he stolen it again? After the eight hours of fucking setting up the pin. One, two. Oh, he kicked out! Oh, that was so close. Oh, I kicked it. Whew. One. Oh my god, this. I look at it. I look at it. Damn it. So it's basically, it is basically now next pen wins. Oh, what a move, man. One. The car! That's going to be it. If it's low, it fits low the fucking ropes. One, two, three. Boom, two, one. What a match.
This is all done, pretty much. Yep, 13 to 14, apart from the PC showcase. Which will be it, which is on social media. We're going to have to make this to three Fogs match someday. What? We do a two out of three Fogs match two more times, best of three. That's confusing. I know what he tries to be, but that's confusing. Yeah, until like that, next time we got to get... Figured that Road Dog would be an early riser next time. Yeah, we got to give Todd to give us the eggy on the intel like that. <laughs> we did this last time, let's go back. Last time you said there were big news, it turned out there were air fresheners in the locker room. Hope it's bigger than that. Moon rain set was a game changer anyway, this is big. I heard the GMs are making their way down here to sell value these trading classes. Okay, you were right, this is big. Yep, if you're ready. Yeah, this is where we left it after the last episode, guys, but then I decided to go back and do these stories. So here we're here. I'm ready to show how far I've come to the and make the leap to WWE. Because I think you're ready too. Oh, and do me a favour when Sean and Road Dog tell you about it, act surprised, okay? Deal. Let's do it, guys. Hey, we have some good news. You're not going to have to deal with us much longer. Well, maybe if everything works out. What do you mean? Triple H feels like he's seen enough from you and the rest of the class. So it's time for an official evaluation. Is this the PC showcase you mentioned back on my first day? Exactly. All of the GMs will be here to see you guys in action. If you impress any of them enough, you might receive a contract offer. Thanks for helping me get to this point. I won't let you down. You put in the hard work and earned this opportunity. Now it's time to deliver and reap the benefits. I'll be ready. We should also mention that each GM is going to be accompanied by a superstar from their brand to help evaluate you guys. And by evaluate, you mean you're going to face one of the visiting superstars. We already know how you do against the other guys here. So we wanted to give you a new challenge. That all sounds good to me. So who will I face? Well, the options are Oni Lorcan from NXT, Shinsuke Nakamura from SmackDown, or the toughest challenge out of the three, Drew McIntyre from Raw. Keep in mind, there's no wrong choice. But being a tougher opponent would be more impressive to the GMs potentially open more doors. But if you lost, risk might not be worth it. So, now that you've had 10 seconds to consider this life-altering decision, what's it gonna be? Oh. Do you want Scotland versus Scotland? Me versus Drew McTell. The, I want the biggest challenge, and he is the big, he is the best at the free. I want to really impress the GMs. Give me Drew McIntyre. All right, we'll make it happen. Good luck, kid. Wait. We almost forgot the best part. There's a little surprise waiting in your locker. Oh, you mean his custom gear we made for him. Well, now that the cat's out of the bag, remember <laughs> your first day when you designed your wrestling attire? Well, we figured it might help your chances if the GMs could see how you'd really look in WWE. Unless you'd rather stick with your plain old boring training gear. Uh, no. I think I'm going to go with my custom look. Thanks, guys. Let's talk to the Paragon JPs. Just a heads up, I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC showcase, since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. That's not what I've heard. Who are you going to face anyway? I'm taking on the mascot. I'll dominate him and show the GMs what they've been missing out on. Wait. So you're not even facing one of the visiting superstars? <laughs> Sounds like someone is scared to lose in front of the GMs. It's called being smart and putting myself in the best position to succeed. Maybe you should try it sometime. But good luck getting a contract with whatever half-baked decision you made. I love when Wood Dog went, now that you've had 10 seconds to pick these, to make this life-altering decision, I am so jacked for this PC showcase. I had a dream last night that I beat Paragon and was signed by Mandy Rose to Raw. 
But then the dream got crazy. Uh, but we don't need to get into that. Ooh, wait, what? <laughs> Holy fuck, that took a real ton. You beating Paragon and getting signed to Raw wasn't the crazy part. <laughs> oh, no way, man. I can do this. I step up my game when the pressure's on. And besides, all I need is one shot. Even though every time I get associated with Chase, like the indie show and uh, the hardcore match, it's always ended in disaster. I, ho I like him. I hope he gets his chance to go to uh, the main roster. Smackdown, that was, uh, Raw, NXT. Hope he gets there. Well, I admire your confidence. And I hope it works out that way. Maybe we'll end up on the same show. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Could even ride together, live together, work out together, eat together. I know. We could do a lot of things together. All right, well, good luck in your match. I'm going to go buy a new suit to impress the GMs, specifically Mandy Rose. If our real-life connection is anything like it was in my dream, there's going to be fireworks when we meet. Uh, not literally like pyro or anything. I mean like the romantic kind. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I get it, Chase. Good luck with all that. Here we go. I'm just saying, just compared to my guy, Drew McIntyre is fucking huge. And he... Like, I don't look how far I'm talking about. The guy's like fucking... The guy's way tall, way... Probably strong, he's gonna definitely got the fucking strength advantage on me. Oh, he's bleeding? GM I can literally see is Mandy Rose. <laughs> Fucking hell. Just for the no soul there, Drew. Back up a bit, man. There's other GMs there. Don't! There we go, I was trying to hit that there. Couldn't really see, couldn't really see, I was trying to press L2 instead of R2s, I mean. Oh, he fucking countered! Damn it, Drew, man. Oh my god, please hit it! He 
You just run into your pet there! What the fuck? I'm pressing the fucking button! I was trying to hit the calls, he just can't run into him! Oh, you They totally cost me though, so I don't really that. There we go! The car! One, two. Oh. Shit. Oh, fuck it, yeah, oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, he's fucking killed on my finisher. Oh, no. Man, dude, always distracted him. start your WWE. Congratulations on your successful uh, PC showcase. Mobile GMs were impressed with your performance and will possibly be a contract the same with the brand. Be sure to talk to as many GMs as possible as you can weigh your options before going... Oh, fair this. William Eagle. I've heard a lot about you and you didn't disappoint with your win over Drew McIntyre today. With that being said, I'd like to offer you the opportunity to sign with NXT. This is a big decision, and I need to think it over. That's fine, but you don't have a lot of time. Weigh your options and get back to me. The fact that you had the courage to not only face an opponent like Drew McIntyre, but then beat him, really proved what kind of competitor you are. That's why I'd like to offer you a SmackDown contract. This is a big decision, and I need more time to weigh my options. I get that, but let me know before I leave today. I wasn't planning on making any acquisitions today, but after what you did against Drew McIntyre, I'm impressed. So I want to offer you the best opportunity you're going to get. A chance to sign with Raw. This is a big decision, and I need to- Don't play games with me. If you want to sign, let me know. If not, you're a loss. Where will I go, guys? Oh, I don't know. Eh... I did say at the start of the video, I would go to NXT and I kind of want to go to NXT. At 14. I'm not sure happening on social media. Nothing really. Right, you know what, guys? Just weighing up motions. I'm going to go and say we're NXT. I kind of want to start in NXT, go to SmackDown, end on Raw, probably something like that. Uh, people make way to jump to the main roster. I kind of want to go to NXT. I really like NXT. So. I've heard a lot about you, and you didn't disappoint right, me. I look forward to dominating NXT and using it as a stepping stone to bigger things. A bit pompous, are you? I have a feeling you might be singing a different tune after you see what NXT is all about. In fact, 
With that attitude, you might become the stone that gets stepped on. Nah. I look forward to proving you wrong. Well, guys, I'm going to end the video there. In the next video, hopefully, I'll make my NXT debut. So I just want to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please smash that like button if you want to see more WWE 2K22. Sorry if this video is kind of long, guys, but I wanted to show you the performance center instead. Because I, I teased it in the last episode. Like, we'll, we'll end it there, then we'll do it, and then just no show it would be pointless. So I thought it was a bit long. But thanks for watching, guys. The last episode and my Twitch in the whole series is down there in the description. Please check that out if you want to catch up or ch see when I go live on Twitch or whatever. Uh, love you all. Smash the like button. Hit the bell. Next to my name. If you want to know when I'm going next. Love you all. See ya. Can you win? Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed. Feel my own adrenaline. Yeah, I do just what I do. And I hope you let me in. Let me in. Yeah.